Hi, this is Klaus from KDS Software and Consulting. Today I would like to show you how to add a field to our human resources management screens in three steps. First I show you where I want to add that field. So I go down the path here. Everything here is accessible in SAP with the path, via the path. So you go down the SAP menu, go to human resources, go to personal management, go to um, display, administration, HR, master data, display, and then you see our screens. You see the HCM screens. And here I've prepared a personnel number to display the organizational assignment of that person. In this organizational assignment screen, I would like to add a field. And I add this field at the bottom of the screen, down here. And we decided to have a date field. Date field should come with a calendar and should come, be very easy to add. All right, we go back to the starting point. And in our menu is a configuration option. So I close this human resource because we don't need this anymore. I close that folder. I go to tools. I go to customizing, to the implementation guide, IMG and I go to the execute project. Here I execute the project, I say I want to have the SAP standard reference IMG and I go to personal management which is a bit further down here, personal management. I go to personal administration and I will choose down here the customizing procedures. In the customizing procedures I will choose info types and I will choose info types in detached info type framework. And I just open that. It gives me an option which is called create info types. Since we want to add a field, we choose that option. It says which info type do you want to choose? And I want to choose info type organization assignment, info type one. And I go to other functions enhanced single screen because it was a single screen. It gives me a screen here. It tells me immediately where what I have to enter and I can continue to go to the customer include to add this is my step number one to add my field. I say edit and I have prepared this for you already so it looks a little bit uh, more um, streamlined. I add a field which I call ZZ date. I could call it date. I don't have to call it ZZ. It's just a habit. And I have a component type which I call ZZ date too. So I don't have to um, think what's my component type called, what's my field type called. I double click on that and I see here the field itself. What I always maintain is I maintain the labels. I call it my date. For the short text, I call it my date for the medium text, I call it my date for the long text, and I call it for the heading in the reports my date, just to make it obvious what we are um, currently uh, adding to that info type. I give it even a nice short description. In the attributes, I choose, I have to enter nothing, it's all maintained automatically, who made it, when, what package, what language, what original language. The date type, I choose date, because it has the nice date, not in year, 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 month, month, day, day. It has a date type, and it's dependent on the user definitions, what you use. If you use American, if you use German, if you use Japanese date formats, it's all the same. You don't have to think about it. Then you would say, I activate it. You hit that button, activate. It's activating it. Then you go one step back you would activate the customer include if you not have already activated it puts it on a transport number automatically and now we are done we go one step back we say generate documents we hit that button it generate it generate objects not documents it generates all the objects and you don't have to know much more now one step you have to do or you have to verify if you do this the first time it's already there you don't have to worry about anything. If you have done the preparation steps as I have done, you would say assign enhancements. And here you see 
there is already one which I put into that table and since we want to do this for the US we copy that we save for the standard screen of the US which is currently modifier 10 we want to add this entry we save it, this is a little save button here we put it on a transport and I put here a little lock so that we don't transport this uh, by accident and we are done so everything should be there now we go back we have now two entries, one for Canada, one for the US. These are the country modifiers. We numbered them years ago. So every country has a modifier, don't worry. Every country has one. Now we go one step back. We are done. More you don't have to do. There were three steps. Add the field, add the data element, and assign the enhancement. And you go back, and we can show now, it up here, the screen itself. We go back one step one step back because you go out of the X, uh, reference IMG you go to human resources personal management administration HR master data PA20 display we show our personal number everything is entered nicely and you see the field down here here is my date comes with a calendar and everything so you can maintain this date if you want and you are finished three-step process.